Shalom. This week's parsha is Vayeshev. Planning events, whether meetings, programs, or birthday parties, has become much easier with a plethora of apps, calendars, and tools made to make collaborating much smoother. Whether it's sending a Google Calendar invitation or an invitation through Microsoft's Outlook, getting together, planning, or scheduling a special day make, with today's technological advancements has made it so much easier for all of us. But planning joint events has become much easier. When it comes to planning nefarious actions, technology has made, it, has made it easier to stray down the wrong path as well. In this Tvar Torah, I'd like to examine collaboration and scheduling sinful behavior. I'll posit that scheduling and planning sinful behavior is an imperfection of its own. I'll take an opinion in the Talmud about the episode of Yosef and Potiphar's wife to prove my points. I hope the, the viewer uses this Tvar Torah to recognize their own scheming of sin, and act to correct it. Hashem related in this week's Sedra that Yosef's master, Potiphar, Potiphar's wife, tried to seduce Yosef, and Yosef consistently refused her advances. He used to say, he would tell her, in this house there is no one greater than I, and Potiphar has not withheld anything from me, except for you, for you are his wife, and how can I commit this great evil and sin against God? His rejection didn't stop her, and Hashem recorded, and it came about on a certain day, that Yosef came to the house to do his work, and none of the people of the house were there in the house. In the house. So Potiphar's wife grabbed him by his garment, saying, Why with me? But he left his garment in her hand, and he fled and went outside. What was this certain day that the Pasuk talked about? The Talmud recounts that Rabbi Yochanan said that this day was a day that both Yosef and Potiphar's wife had planned to act immorally. Rabbi Yochanan's opinion wasn't universally accepted and created this debate. When the Pasuk says Yosef went to the house to do his work, Rav and Shmuel disagree. One, dis- one understands that it really meant that he actually did go to the house to do his work. But the other opinion said, and this is in accordance with the fact that Yosef and Potiphar's wife had planned the sin, was that he didn't go to work, but rather he went to satisfy his own desires. The two opinions disagree if Yosef had succumbed to Potiphar's wife, or if he was still able to, to reject her advances. If Yosef really had come to Potiphar's wife's advances, then that certain day referred to a day in which Potiphar's wife and Yosef had planned a sinful rendezvous. The mentioning of the day would then be purposely mentioned to teach an important lesson. Sin stems from a moral lapse, or from a premeditated determination to sin. We are all plagued by moral lapses. We are human, and we sin. Planning to sin, not because of a moral lapse, but because of a disregard of morals, is a, two, is a twofold imperfection. Besides the actual sin, the energy and thought expended on the premeditation is sinful in itself. The lesson we learn from Rabbi Yochanan's view that Yosef schemed to sin with Potiphar's wife is that planned sin is much worse than sin that just stems from a moral lapse. A few years ago, prosecutors were able to convict a defendant by presenting the defendant's internet calendar and showing that he had actually planned to commit the sin. Planning a sin is much worse than the actual just simply sinning. Shabbat Shalom.